Hello. Hello. Okay, so you're there already, okay? So I'm going to share again the presentation. Okay, we go back to our um go back to our uh Skype chat, okay? Now, this is what you're going to do. I want you to check your sentences, okay? She speaks quickly. Okay, would you kindly edit your your sentences? Number one is she speaks quickly. So you have to remove the is without the is. Okay? Can you do that, V? Okay, so this is what you're going to do. She, you have to capitalize the S for she. Okay, edit your answer, please. Okay, follow me. Okay, V, edit your answer. Edit your sentence. Go to the edit and then capitalize the S for she. She. Okay, Yes, the word she, look at your she. You start your she with a small letter, with the S. So you have to capitalize the S. Capitalize the S, and then you have to remove the is so that it will just mm -hmm. only be she speaks quickly. Okay? She speaks. Okay. Yes, yeah, she speaks. Okay, uh, remove the is. Remove the is. She speaks quickly. Do not say she is speaks quickly. Okay? If you are not going to remove the is, you just have to put she is speaking quickly. Okay? So it's present continuous. So you're going to do that. Okay? B. Remove the is. Okay, I will be the one to do that. Okay, she speaks quickly. Okay, or, or, okay, or it could be she is speaking quickly. Okay, then the second one, second is second sentence is wrong. Okay, so the you have to capitalize the T because that would be a sentence. So the problem. Okay. Was solved. The problem. Was solved easily. Okay. The number three. Okay. Again, you have to capitalize the T. The turtle walks slowly. Okay. And then lastly, number okay, number number four, he is driving carefully. So he is driving carefully, or you can also say he drives carefully. Okay? I'll look at this one, V, huh? These are the correct one. Can you look at that one? Okay, would you kindly open, open the chat? I send it to you, and then that would be the correct one, okay? Yes. Okay, now would you kindly read all of the sentences that I corrected? Okay? Can you say number one? Can you read that? She? She is 
quickly. Yes. Your sentence is, she is speaks quickly. So that would be wrong. Okay? Because we do not use the uh, B verb is since we use the present, present tense, simple present tense of the verb speak. Right? So therefore, we just have to say, she speaks quickly. Or if you want to use the is, following after the is would be the ing verb. So is speaking. Did you get it, B? She is speaking quickly. Did you understand, B? Okay, what about na sentence number two? Can you read that? Okay, the problem was solved easily. Can you read that? Can you read your sentence B? Hello? Yes. Can you read your sentence? Yes. Okay. What is that again? Can you read that again? The she problem? Did. The problem was now easily. Okay, so the problem okay, was solved easily. Or we can also say, or we can also say the problem is solved easily. So that would also be correct. Okay, next, what about sentence number three? Can you read that? The turtle. The turtle walks slowly. Yes. So the turtle walks slowly. Your your sentence is the turtle is walk slowly. If that would be the case, you can say the turtle is walking slowly. So you are going to use the present continuous form of the verb. Okay? Because following after the the be verb is would be an ing verb. Okay? Did you understand? We said the turtle walks slowly or the turtle is walking slowly. Would you kindly see that? See the chart? Okay, I already sent it to you, V. Okay, would you kindly open that? Yes, yeah, so the turtle slowly. is walking slowly so that would also be correct it can be the turtle walks slowly or it could be the turtle is walking slowly did you got what i mean v okay next would you kindly read your sentence number four he is what is the sentence number four he is driving he is driving. Uh, he is driving carefully. Yes. Okay. And then the spelling of your carefully. So it's double L. Okay. Since the word careful ends with letter L, and then of course put L Y at the end. Did you get it? Or you can also say he drives carefully. So don't no need to put is. If you put is, then following after the is would be the ing verb. So he is driving carefully. Did you got it, V? Okay, another another thing. Okay, I want you to do another example. Okay, just for a while. So I want you to make another sentences using the following adverb.
Okay. So use the following Okay, another V, can you read that? So use the following adverbs in your own sentences. So would you kindly use the adverbs deeply, completely, strongly, eagerly, and secretly? Hello, V, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Can you use that? Would you kindly uh, see? That's it. So use the following adverbs in your own sentences. Same thing, okay? You have to type. You have to um, uh, type your answer or your sentence and send that one to me, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Another, ex another sentences. Okay. Write. And type your answer. Okay, again, don't forget to start your sentence with the capital letter, the one that I gave you just a while ago. Okay, because in, in a sentence, it should begin with a capital letter and ends with a correct punctuation mark. Okay? Now, if you are going to use... The B verb is or are, it should always be, following after that, would be an ing verb, okay? Like, for example, is drinking, okay? Are swimming. But if you do not use the, the, the B verb, you can directly put, if we are talking of he, she, it, so, therefore, it should be uh, with the S. Like, for example, he swims. Okay? He swims. Um, he swims quickly. Okay? Or we can say she uh, drives carefully. Are you done, V? Are you done making your own sentence? Can you type your answer, please? I have to wait for you. Okay, just tell me once you're done. Okay, tell me once you're done, B. Oh, I don't know. 
Okay, okay, tell me if you are finished, okay? If you are finished, just tell me. I don't know how to make sentence with those words. Okay. So why is it you don't know? Okay. Like for example, we're going to say deeply. Okay. I am deeply. Asking for your understanding okay can you read the sentence that i sent you v can you read that yeah okay would you kindly open your chart i am deeply asking yes so deeply okay um, you can also use the adverb at the beginning or uh, before before a certain verb. Asking is an action word, right? Okay? Asking is an action word. And before the word uh, asking is the word deeply. So we are now using the uh, adverb that describes another adverb okay so like in the example i am deeply asking for your understanding okay that means you are very you are very um um uh, it, uh, uh, uh what is what do this one uh we are trying to say deep in your heart okay that you ask for understanding Okay, so that is what we mean by deeply. What about completely? Okay, that means the complete. Like for example, okay, they, okay, they, uh -huh, they, they've done, they've done their tasks. Completely. Okay. Can you read that sentence, V? Can you read the sentence? Yeah. They, they done their tasks completely. Yeah. So how they've done their tasks? They've done their tasks completely. Okay? Okay, V. So, it answers the question how. How they've done their tasks. They've done their tasks completely. So, the word completely now is an adverb. Okay, V. Okay, what about strongly? Would you kindly use that in the sentence strongly? Can you do that, B? Hello, can you do that, B? Yeah. Okay, give me and give me a sentence uh, using the adverb strongly. Strongly. Yes. Strongly. Okay, let's say for example, I push the door strongly okay uh, again yeah. what's your what's your sentence this uh this strong uh this strong strong strongly okay yeah. okay can you type your answer can you type your sentence please 
Okay, can you type that? So this stone is very ah okay. So okay, would you kindly um revise this sentence? So okay, this st stone that she threw to me. Okay. So, this stone is very strongly. No. Actually, if you are going to say stone, that would just only be an adjective because you are just describing the stone which is strong. So, the stone is strong. Okay? But this one is an adjective. Okay? The strong is an adjective. We do not use that one in, in adverb because when you say adverb, we described uh we describe a verb or action so you can you can maybe say okay um sh uh, she okay she threw threw a stone strongly to me okay or at me okay look at this one b can you read the sentence? Can you open your chat? Yeah. Okay, read that. He threw a strong, 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 strongly at me. Yes. Okay. So we use through. So through is an action word. Okay. So therefore, we. Uh, use strongly because we describe through. Okay, how 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 she she threw a stone at me so strongly. Okay, V. Okay, uh, do you have any questions? So before we have to say goodbye because it's already time now. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. No. Okay. If you don't have any more question, I'm going to give you a homework. I'm going to send here. Okay. Okay, V. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have any more questions. So we are going to uh, continue studying this one on the next meeting, but I'm going to give you a homework. Could it be okay? Okay. okay. So I'm going to send it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much for your time, B. We'll see you again on the next meeting. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.